News out moments ago from Pfizer on guidance uh, for its earnings coming up. CNBC Health and Pharmaceuticals reporter Angelica Peebles joins us right now. She's got more on that. Angelica, what do you see when you look through the, the guidance and the numbers that they're issuing? Good morning, Becky. Once again, the COVID vaccines and the antiviral pill that Pfizer makes is really the cause here of this um, this weaker than expected guidance. So Pfizer is saying that for next year, they expect earnings in the range of 205 to 225 a share, and that compares to 317, the current um, consensus estimate. Meanwhile, revenue will be between 58.5 billion to 61.5 billion. And that compares to the estimate of 63.17 billion. So those numbers much lower than what the, what the street is expecting. And the big difference that I see is that Pfizer is saying that they expect about $8 billion from their COVID vaccine and their antiviral. And the street's expecting about $14 billion. So that's a big difference right there. And they're saying that next year they expect about $3 billion in sales um, from the acquisition of Seijin. That's the cancer company that they're acquiring. They expect that deal to close tomorrow. And so that's why right now Pfizer is announcing these updates. They have a call a little bit later this morning. So we'll be on that to hear what else they see from some of the other products. But that's what stands out right now. You know, that, that is a big hit for a stock that has not looked pretty um, all year. You're looking right now at uh, a decline of about 6.5%. For three months, it's down 21%. But if you go back further, it's a drop of almost 50% at this point for the year to date. Yeah, and they just really can't move past this COVID story. And as much as they're trying, you know, it's just this is the narrative right now. They're trying to get investors to focus on the siege and acquisition, as well as some other new products that they have launching um, or that they've already you know, started bringing to market. But this just remains the story. And so we'll have to see what they say today um, about other products and what they're seeing there. But again, it's all about COVID right now.